What's up everyone? Ripper here. I know, long time no see. And when I say what's up, I, I think I should say who's up. This is the time. 1.47 a.m. It's not p.m., it's a.m. The latest news, Don Lewis has been found alive. It's on all the media. Everybody's reporting on it. It's false. Blatantly false. And I'm going to show you why. Also, if it was true, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department would not have presented a case to the district attorney regarding the murder of Don Lewis. You heard that here first. Let me repeat. If Don Lewis was alive, why would the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department present a case to the district attorney regarding the murder of Don Lewis? That would not happen, right? If he had been found alive, the Sheriff's Department would also report on it. I'm going to explain to you why this has happened and what document it is that has started this horrible rumor. And th this, this came from an interview that Carol did in 2021, a podcast interview where she talked about the greatest thing to come out of TK2 was this document from Homeland Security saying that Don had been found alive in a well and it came from Homeland Security. So that means it came from after 2002 when, when Homeland Security was created. It had to because it came from Homeland Security. It came from U.S. Customs. And I'm going to show you the document. I'm going to show you the source document that they used in the show. I'm going to show you how they edited part of the document in the show so that you know the source document is going to be right in front of your screen. I'm going to show that to you. I want you to share this video everywhere you can. Don Lewis is not alive. I'm the spokesperson for the family of Don Lewis. I would know. I would be the person putting that out there. The family would put it out there. But instead, the family has gotten messages from people congratulating them because their father has been found alive. Can you imagine living through the nightmare that they've lived through and then to have people sending them messages? Congratulations. I'm so happy your dad's been found. And all the while, Carol Baskin who went and did all of these podcast interviews. She, she did podcasts with, I saw some of them. I was like the 13th viewer. A podcast had been up for a day, 24 hours. Someone sent it to me and it had 13 views. She was doing every podcast she had, trying to get this story out there so that people would think Don Lewis had been found alive and well. Let me show you these documents. I'll put them up on your screen here. And let me, I'm going to turn this camera off. Let me turn this off real quick. Okay. So on, on the screen, on the right, on the right, if you look at the very top on the right, it says smoking or part of the word smoking. This is a screenshot from the documentment. I'm in the documentary, Tiger King 2. On the left, is the source document where that screenshot actually came from. And I'm going to show you how you, you, can, you can figure that out. Let me zoom in a little bit on, let's see, which one do I want to, I think I'll zoom in on this one. All right, I want you to look over on the right, and then I'm going to read this document to you in case you can't read it. But I want you to look over on the far right. I'll put this up at the very top. That word at the very top right corner where it says misses. And let me show you where that's at over on this document. Because I want, I want you to know for sure the source document that you're looking at right now on the left of the screen is the actual source document. Okay, we're, we're looking at the fifth line down. I'll put it at the very top. It says, report with Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Tampa. If you look over on the right, it says, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Tampa. 
And then after Tampa, you see where it says misses? You see that? Let me see if I can. I don't know if I can zoom in without messing it up. I don't know if I can, but the misses is darker than the rest of the other document. And then right below that, it says a van owned by Don Lewis. And then on the right, it says was. And the was is in darker print as well. And then you you see no and had. And all of those are darker because those have been added so that when you saw the document in the show, it looked like a complete and whole document. But it's not because that right side was clipped off. And the reason it was clipped off, the, the document itself is cropped on the sides. The reason it was cropped is because it has identifying markers on the sides that cannot be shown. That's why this source document that I'm showing you right now, the sides are clipped off. And that's going to be important here in a little bit because the date, the date of this document is on here as well. Now I have the uncropped versions of the documents. And I'm going to show you two pages. That's all that was shown in the in the show. But the other pages I'm not going to I'm not going to put out there. I don't even want to put these out there, but I'm going to because I want to show you guys that this stuff is not true. Let me read this to you. Let me go down a little bit so I can explain it. It does say Department of Homeland Security up there. Homeland Security took over a bunch of different offices that the U.S. government had. For example, U.S. Customs now falls under Homeland Security. U.S. Customs is who would do an investigation into animal smuggling. In 1997, U.S. Customs was doing an investigation into Don Lewis into wildlife smuggling. So let me read this document. This investigation has revealed no evidence of wildlife smuggling on the part of Jack Lewis. If you guys don't know who Jack Lewis is, that's Don Lewis. Lewis owns property in Costa Rica and has traveled there regularly. I'm going to keep reading. In the latter part of August 1997, Lewis's wife Carol filed a missing persons report with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Tampa. Lewis stated that her husband had disappeared. A van owned by Don Lewis was located at Pilot Country Estate in Pasco County, Florida. Detectives found no sign or no evidence of foul play. Hillsborough, Hillsborough Sheriff's Office detectives learned that Lewis recently purchased a $1.5 million life insurance policy. Now, pay very close attention to what I'm about to read here. This will, without a doubt, tell you that this is a document from 1997. And the date is October 1997. Carol wishes it came from 2002 or after. She needs it to come from then. But right here, you're going to see that's not the case. Working in conjunction with special agent in charge slash New Orleans and special agent, and they have his name redacted, has learned that Don Lewis is currently alive and well in Costa Rica. Now, this is what people are reporting on this statement in this document because Carol has said it says he was found alive and well in Costa Rica. Now, I'll keep going. Upon receiving this information, special agent, name redacted, contacted Hillsborough Sheriff's Office Detective George Fernandez and advised him of Lewis's whereabouts. Now, this is very important. I will tell you, in season one of Tiger King, they interviewed people from the sheriff's office. And those people said they went to Costa Rica to do an investigation. But what they did not say and what they could not say is that when they went to Costa Rica, they talked to an informant that had reported Don Lewis being seen alive and well. They actually talked to the informant. And the informant recanted his statement and told them that he was being paid money by U.S. Customs every time he gave them information. Therefore, he gave them information saying that he saw Don Lewis. 
because he was being paid thousands of dollars for information. So he told him this and he knew. He knew that if they came back to him and said, Don Lewis is not alive, he could say, well, that guy sure looked like him. I, I thought it was him. I guess I was wrong. This is what he told the detectives. But they couldn't come out and talk about the case in the show. They can't talk about these details. But I am I have been informed that this is what happened. But let me keep reading here because this is really important. And this is what destroys Carol's story. And she's read this too, but she doesn't want to talk about this part. Um, all right, it says, Local television and print media have covered Lewis's disappearance extensively and have reported that Lewis and his wife recently, listen to me, Lewis and his wife recently begin having domestic problems. This document, I'm going to tell you right now, this document's from October of 1997. In June, Don filed a restraining order against Carol in June of 1997. July, August, September, October. This is just four months later. So that would make sense for them to say recently that Lewis' disappearance has been covered extensively and have reported that Lewis and his wife recently began having domestic problems. If this, if this document's from 2002 or after, when Homeland Security was created, they're not going to say Don and his wife recently began, began having domestic problems. They're going to say back in 1997 it was reported. This right here should tell any person with common sense this is a recent statement, recent problems. But Carol won't talk about this part when she's doing podcasts. She won't say, well, it, it had to be, but I'm confused because they say that him and I recently started having domestic problems. She doesn't want to talk about that because it doesn't fit her narrative. And then it also says it has also been reported that Mrs. Lewis had threatened to kill her husband. So they have a statement from someone telling them that Carol threatened to kill her husband, or they have something. They have something that says that. Let me keep reading. Um, Special Agent Redacted has learned that Lewis has loaned money to various individuals in Costa Rica and could live quite well on the interest earnings from those loans. Lewis could reside in Costa Rica indefinitely. This investigation will be closed. I, now, there's more. There's another page that was shown in the show, so let me show that to you as well. Let me get these ones off the screen. All right, the one on the right is the screenshot from the show. The one on the left is the source document. They're the same thing. They, they have some of the same things that were in that first page, but this one, if you look... Hold on, let me pull this up for you. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner on this one, you can barely see the date, but it's cropped off. It has to be cropped off because of what I said earlier. But the date is October, and then it has a day, an actual day, and the year 1997. But it can't be shown, sadly, because there's marks that identify um, the the person, well, it has identifying markers, so it just cannot be shown. But let me read this to you as well. But it's October 1997. And even if you did not believe that what I'm telling you about 1997, all you have to do is look up here where it says that they were having recent domestic problems. Now, wouldn't that make sense if this is October? If this is being written in October, he went missing in August, and the media had been reporting on this in, in late August, early September, and then things started coming out about them having domestic problems, like the um, protection order that 
Anne gave to the detectives when she went and met with them. So all of this is information that they had. But let me read this to you. Uh, latter part of August 1997, Carol Lewis filed a missing person report at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Tampa. Uh, her husband disappeared. Van owned by Don Lewis was found at Country Pirate Estates. This is the same stuff that we saw before on that other page. But this is just a different page. Um, and it says the same thing where it was extensively covered in media in that it had been reported that Lewis and his wife recently began having domestic problems. But this is a different page. It doesn't show the Homeland Security thing on the top. Actually, at the top of this, you can see the, the other page up there. Um, but this is the actual source document. And you can see over here, the one in the show, they actually took out the Martha and the San Jose writing off of the document. So that did not show. But the one on the right over here, this is the screenshot that was in the show. And actually, you can see Ann McQueen's hand there. That was from the show. But in that one, you can actually see the date down there as well, October. Now, this is what Carol had. Carol had this copy. And you can read this plain as day. And it does say in here that Lewis and his wife recently began having domestic problems. So she should be smart enough to put two and two together. But if she does that, that does not fit her narrative. So I just wanted to show you these documents and hold on, let me turn this back on and and tell everybody that as as the spokesperson for the family of Don Lewis, the family is um, not happy that these stories are coming out about their dad being found alive because he's not been found alive. Um, he's he's not he's not alive and and. The, the the statement from the family would be, we would love for our dad to have been found alive and well, but we don't believe that's the case. If it was the case, the sheriff's department would have notified us that he had been found alive and well. That would have been their statement, something to that effect. But they haven't been notified by the sheriff's department that he was found alive and well. The information that they've gotten from the sheriff's department all all leads to something saying um, your dad never left the state of Florida in August of 1997. He didn't go to Costa Rica in 19 in August of 1997. That's the kind of information that they've gotten from the sheriff's department that Don Don never went to Costa Rica in 1997. So Don Lewis is not alive. Share this video around. I, I know it's 18 minutes long, and for some people they can't watch that long. So if you want to take clips out of this, take clips out of it and and share it. Just make sure that you link this video and give me credit and send people here so that people can see the entire video, please. It's very important that people see the whole story. But send people here. Don Lewis is not alive. He's not well. He never left Florida in August of 1997. Um, there's a reason why Carol will not let law enforcement come out and search her property. There's a very good reason for that. All right, everybody, it's uh, 2.06 a.m. Hopefully I'll quit getting messages about this, this story. Um, and hopefully the media that put this story out, hopefully they'll come out with a, with a story that explains um, what really happened. All right, everybody, stay safe out there. I'm Ripper, and I'm out.